Normally when we come across a message like this from a business like Big Basket or Go iBebo, we just read the message or just chat with the bot and that's pretty much the end of it. But what Geomart has done with its WhatsApp bot looks really simple, but it seems like it's the start of something that is really, really big. Now this WhatsApp thing is currently in its pilot project stage and it is only operational in a few select localities of Mumbai with a thousand of stores participating in it. Now this thing is just a small piece of a much bigger project. Let's rewind to 23rd of April when Mukesh Ambani, the chairman of Reliance India Limited said this. All of us at Reliance and Geo are delighted to welcome Facebook Inc as our long term an esteemed partner. That's right, Facebook announced an investment of a whopping 43,500 crore rupees for a 9.99% stake. Now, this not only makes Facebook the largest minority stakeholder in the company, but also makes this deal the largest in India's tech sector. The deal revolves around e-commerce and e-payment businesses, but not in the conventional way. So far, e-commerce and physical stores have seldom gone hand in hand in India. The Geomart WhatsApp bot is complementing Kirana stores. During a time when e-commerce websites like Amazon cannot function efficiently, it seems like the only way to get the ball rolling is to get the customer to the store. But what does Facebook get out of this deal? Well, Facebook gets a strong foothold in India's fast-growing market and WhatsApp strengthens itself as a customer services and a social commerce platform in India. But it doesn't end there. Facebook and Geo have long been talking about the possibility of coming up with a super app. What's that? Well, think of it this way. It's like a mama app with a bunch of different mini apps within it. So you don't have to download a new app for let's say booking a cab or like ordering groceries or strolling through your social media it's all done within the same app now such a model has been proven really really successful in places like china where wechat and alipay are like really popular and facebook is also taking steps baby steps in the same direction if you take a look at facebook's branding in all three of its major apps that is facebook instagram and whatsapp you will see that slowly starting to become a super app. You can also see several different features that all of these three apps have in common. I'm talking about stories, I'm talking about video calling capabilities. All these features are basically integrating all three apps together. Now, Geo2 has a similar ecosystem of apps, ranging from news to video streaming services to payments. Yes, payments. That's the missing piece of puzzle for Facebook because it has been trying to push for WhatsApp UPI for the last two years and it still hasn't received any sort of clearance from the government. And it could be the most valuable thing for Facebook because putting such a massive functionality in an app that's being used by millions of people in India will prove to be super, super convenient for them. But there is an issue, like kind of a big one. Well, you see, when app-based services are being provided to you by companies that take in your location data, your preferences, your biometric data, there's a chance that all of this is actually leading to this thing called digital colonization. And there are also concerns of these companies imposing like a predatory pricing and even demolishing net neutrality in general by wiping out the competition. Whatever may be the case, it seems clear that the second wave of geofication has been kickstarted by this partnership. 